Back in the day, we weren't just barbers. We used to be surgeons, dentists, you know, and most importantly, bloodletting. The colors on the barber pole were to represent uh, bandages. The red for the, you know, red for the blood, the white for the linen. The blue represents oxygen and the white represents the towel that was wrapped around when, uh, you know, men would hold onto the pole and let the blood let. So they would put them out inside to dry. So there would be red and white bandages out in front. So people would know that that's a barber shop or that's a dentist. They would hang on a tether pole outside their um, shop so that the wind would dry it. Well, they would hang them together and the white and the red would like wrap around each other. And then the blue is venous blood, so blood that hasn't been oxygenated yet. Two trains of thought on that one is the blue stood for ink, which were tattoo parlors that were back in the uh, barber shops, but that didn't start until like the, the 40s and the 50s, right? So uh, the blue was just, it was American. From what I know, they would hold onto the pole, to grip it to bring out the veins, I'm guessing, to allow the blood to flow down. If you look at a barber pole too, the ball on the top of the barber pole represents the head, right? And then the bowl at the bottom of the barber pole, the little round silver thing at the bottom of the barber pole represents, supposedly, represents the uh, bucket that they would drop the, the blood into. But I've never seen blood run in a perfect <laughs> <laughs> When a shop closes or, or the family wants to get rid of the barbershop equipment, um, they'll call me and then I'll uh, buy the equipment. If it's a shop that I've known for a long time, I, then I don't sell the, the poles. I put them on the wall there. So I restore them. I steel wool them. Sometimes I'll do some light chrome work because chroming is so expensive. I'll rebuild the motors, uh, put new inner cylinders in them, replace the glass. And if they're chrome or stainless steel, then I just polish them and have them re-chromed. Marvy was the first to, to make equipment, jars, sanitary jars and equipment to uh, coincide with the, the um, national requirements for sanitation and sterilization and all that stuff. One that's made in China, probably around 100 bucks. And then the Marvy ones that are still made in the United States, they start around 500. And then antique poles um, can go anywhere from 1500 to 4500 To me, it's one of the best advertisings that a barber shop can have, and, and a lot of the barbers don't have them. You know, the red, white, and blue came when, when it came across over the U.S., and we kind of made it like a more patriotic thing. And some people say the blue is for the veins. But I like to think that it was red and white, and then we turned it red, white, and blue because it's American you know, because we're in America, so try to do a patriotic thing.